Last fall, after the wettest October in years, the Army Corps of Engineers opened up the gates at Port Mayaca and began to dump 1.2 billion gallons of fresh water into the C-44 canal every day. The very next day, a company showed up at Port Mayaca claiming that they had the answer to stop any algal blooms from happening. Its name was Blue Green Water Technologies. Nobody I knew had ever heard of them, and that's because they only started in business two years ago, and they were from Israel. This company was hired to monitor the water, and if they detected high levels of toxins, they were going to release their own patented chemical called Lake Guard Oxy right into the C-44 canal. This company received 945,000 of your tax dollars to camp out at Port Mayaka for three weeks, and the firm gets paid whether they have to kill a discharge algae bloom or not. They were gone after three weeks and without ever releasing a drop of their chemical. That's nearly $8,000 an hour that this company made for doing nothing. People, you can't make this crap up. On October 29th, the Stewart News front page read, Scientists worry algicides in Lake O will harm the St. Lucie River. There wasn't just one scientist that commented on this story, there were three. The first one was Dr. James M. Sullivan of Florida Atlantic University's Harbor Branch Oceanographic Institute. He was quoted as saying, if they kill all the algae and not the specific problem algae, well, that could be a problem. Most algae are good and required for a healthy environment. We can't simply wipe them all out. The second scientist is Ed Phillips, an algae expert at the University of Florida, called hydrogen peroxide a pretty generic killer. If you've got enough of it in the water to kill cyanobacteria, you've got to wonder what other organisms will be affected. The third scientist is William Mitch, director of the Florida Gulf Coast University's Everglades Wetland Research Park, and he was quoted as saying, hydrogen peroxide is still a poison, and it is still going to affect other organisms in the water. Using chemicals to kill algae should be the last resort to dealing with algae blooms. Mitch said that the algae side should have been tested locally with results evaluated by local scientists before it is put into possible large-scale use. That's not happening here, Mitch said. The DEP is apparently skipping those steps and sending money to the company. This appears to be a rush job for who knows what reason, politics or whatever. Let's take a look at the safety data sheet on Lake Guard Oxy. It is made up of 83% sodium percarbonate and 16% of the mixture consists of ingredients of unknown acute toxicity. Under the environmental hazards, it states, this pesticide is toxic to birds. This product is highly toxic to bees and other beneficial insects. So you are probably wondering how a company, which was founded only a couple years ago, that developed a chemical that was only approved one year ago, could get a million dollar contract to camp out for three weeks and end up doing nothing? Well, it's all in who you know. Before Ron DeSantis was our governor, he was a U.S. congressman. And when President Trump moved our Israeli embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, Ron DeSantis headed up the convoy that went to Israel. It was reported in a newspaper that during his time in Congress, working to get the embassy moved to Jerusalem and trying to get Congress to recognize it as the capital of Israel, DeSantis cultivated a relationship with Netanyahu. He also developed a relationship with Simon Fallick, CEO of Duty Free Americas and one of Netanyahu's top three financial supporters, who also gave $5,000 to DeSantis' bid for governor. After the visit to the wall, DeSantis and the hundred or so members of the delegation who came with him to Israel were treated to a private dinner by Falik, one of several co-chairs for this delegation. Other supporters of DeSantis who led the delegation included Barbara and Dr. Jeffrey Feingold, who are big supporters of the Republican Jewish Coalition and gave $3,000 each to DeSantis and Mark Goldman, who donated $25,000 to the Friends of DeSantis PAC and is a board member of the Republican Jewish Coalition. Governor DeSantis, you owe Florida an explanation. 
The St. Lucie dodged your bullet last year, but today this company reared its ugly head again in the Caloosahatchee River, where it is dumping large amounts of their toxic chemicals in this already stressed river. The answer to eliminating harmful algal blooms is not more chemicals. It is letting the plants grow back so Mother Nature can clean up our mess.